Hello guys! In this video, we will convert fractions to decimals and vice versa. Our objectives, define and illustrate rational numbers and express rational numbers from fraction form to decimal form. Let's talk about first rational number. A rational number is any number that can be expressed in the form a over b, where a and b are integers and b is not equal to zero. So when we are pertaining to the rational number, so we have fraction. Okay? So pinag-uusapan natin dito is a fraction or a divided by b. Make sure lang b is not equal to zero. Okay? So what are the rational numbers? They are whole numbers, integers, percent, terminating, and repeating decimals. Those are the examples of the rational number because it can be written in fractional form. Now, let us have the types of fractions. The first one is the proper fraction. A proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator. So, meaning, kapag ka proper fraction, Mas maliit si numerator kumpara kay denominator or A less than B. Examples, we have 4 over 5. 4 is the numerator, then 5 is the denominator. So kapag sinabi numerator, nasa taas ang fraction bar, yung nasa baba naman ay denominator. So negative 12 over 25 and then positive 17 over 21. The second one is the improper fraction. An improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is greater than denominator. Meaning, mas malaki naman ang numerator compared to the denominator or a greater than or a is greater than to b. So examples, we have 20 over 11, negative 71 over 20 and positive 100 over 99. Last, we have mixed number. A mixed number is a combination of a number and the proper fraction. Examples, negative 2 and 2 over 3, positive 5 and 1 over 4 or 1 fourth, negative 4 and 7 over 13. So, meron tayong whole number and a proper fraction. How about the types of decimals? So first we have terminating decimals. Terminating decimals are decimal numbers with a specific number of digits or the decimal comes to an end. Okay? So examples, we have 0 0.23. So usually ganun natin siya binabasa pero we can read this as 23 hundreds because yun 2 after the decimal point the place value is tens hundreds that's why we read this as 23 hundreds next we have 36.472 so we can read this as 36 and 472 thousands so yung after the decimal point Sa right side, 4, ang place value niya ay tenths, 7 is hundreds, and then yun 2 is thousands. Next, we have 2.0014. We can read this as 2 and 14 ten thousands. Kasi yung place value ni 4 ay ten thousands. Next, we have Repeating decimals. So, repeating decimals are decimal numbers that contains a digit or group of digits that repeats forever. So, ibig sabihin, wala do katapusan. Meron pang mga kasunod na mga digits or decimal numbers. So, examples, we have 0 0.444 and we have 3 dots. So, the repeating digit is 4. So, we can also write it as 0 0.4 then may bar tayo sa taas or 4 tenths okay so you on three dots this is what we call the ellipsis 
Then, yung bar doon sa taas, that is the vinculum. Okay, so next, we have 0.6767 ellipsis. So, the two repeating digits is 67. So, we can also write it as 0.67. Or, or this is a 67 or 67 hundreds. So, we have bar. So, that is vinculum. And yung three dots natin, that is what we call the ellipsis. Again, the three dots is ellipsis and the bar that is a vinculum. So, yung line bar o yung bar doon sa taas ng digits, that is what we call the vinculum. So, now, let us translate or convert fraction into decimal form. So, what is the step? To change fraction into decimal form, simply divide the numerator by its denominator. So, ang gagawin lang natin, magdi-divide lang tayo or gagamitin natin yung long division method. So, example, express 3 fifths in decimal form or 3 over 5. So, first, we have the division symbol. Siyempre, ang numerator natin is 3. Siya yung nasa loob. And then, 5, yung a numerator is 3. 5 is the denominator. Siya naman yung nasa labas. So, when we divide 3 and 5, so 3 divided by 5 cannot be so, ibig sabihin, add 0. So, kapag nag-add ka ng 0, syempre dapat maglalagay ka ng decimal point sa taas. So, now pwede na natin siyang i-divide. 30 divided by 5, that is 6. And then, 6 times 5, that is 30. Then, subtract them. So, we have 30 minus 30. The sum or the difference is 0. So, therefore, the... Decimal form of 3 over 5 is 0 0.6. So, this example is called terminating decimal because the remainder is 0 or the decimal comes to an end. Next, express 3 fourths in decimal form. So, again, 3 is the numerator, 4 is the denominator. So, nasa loob si 3, nasa labas si positive 4. So now, 3 divided by 4 cannot be at 0 ulit. So magiging 30 divided by 4. Pwede na. Pero bago yun, mag-place muna tayo ng decimal point sa taas. So 30 divided by 4 is 7. 7 times 4, that is 28. So subtract natin silang dalawa. So ang magiging difference is 2. Now, since may 2, I-divide ulit natin siya kay positive 4 o i-divide kay 4. So, 2 divided by 4 cannot be. So, add 0 again, bring down. So, 20 divided by 4, pwede na. That is 5. 5 times 4 is 20. And then, subtract natin sila ulit. So, ang difference ay 0. Therefore, the decimal form of 3 fourths is equal to 0.75 Now, 0.75 is called terminating decimal because the remainder is 0 or the decimal comes to an end. Next example, we have one third or express one third in decimal form. So, 1 is the numerator, 3 is the denominator. So, si 1 ang nasa loob, Si 3 ang nasa labas. So, 1 divided by 3 cannot be. So, ang gagawin natin ay add 0. So, kapag nag-add ka ng 0, huwag kalimutan maglagay ng decimal point dun sa taas. Okay? So, 10 divided by 3, that is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract natin silang dalawa. 10 minus 9 is 1. So, ngayon, 1 divided by 3 cannot be ulit. So, add 0, bring down, so we have 10. 10 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Then, subtract natin sila ulit. So, the difference is 1. So, nakita natin yung trend. Paulit-ulit na siya. So, therefore, when we have this given, 
So, 1 over 3 is equal to 0 0.33 ellipses. Ibig sabihin niya, it is called the repeating decimal. Because the decimal have a digit or block of digits that repeat over and over again without ending. So, we can also write it as 0 0.33 or 33 hundredths. Okay? So, again, in three dots is the ellipsis and then yung bar dun sa taas, that is what we call the vinculum. So, ngayon, tapos sa tayo sa converting fraction to decimal. Kunin naman natin yung decimal form into fraction form. So, ano yung process natin? Okay? Sa so, example, first we have 0 0.4 or 4 tenths. Okay, syempre, since ang place value niya ay tenths, so kukunin natin is 4 over 10. Okay? So, get the GCF of 4 and 10. So, ang GCF nila ay 2. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Therefore, the fraction form of 0 0.4 is 2 over 5. Next, number 2. We have 0 0.25. So, kunin lang natin yung place value ni 25. So, tens, hundreds. So, yung 5 mo ay nasa hundreds. So, magiging 25 over 100. So, kunin natin yung greatest common factor or the GCF. I-divide natin sila. So, divided by 25 over 25. So, 25 divided by 25 is 1. And then, 100 divided by 25 is 4. Therefore, the fraction form of 0 0.25 is 1 over 4. In this part, we have repeating decimals. Number 3 is 0 0.3 vinculum. And 4 is 5.125 vinculum. So, para makuha natin ang fraction form ng repeating decimal, pwede natin gamitin itong formula. N over PV minus 1. Yung PV is the place value. Ibig sabihin, dapat alam natin ang place value. Kung hindi natin alam ang place value, hindi rin tatama yung sagot natin kung gagamitin natin yung formula. Okay? So, the first one, number 3, is 0 0.3. 3 tenths. Okay, so we have 3 over 10 minus 1. 3 over 10 minus 1 is 3 over 9. So get the GCF to simplify. So we have 3 over 3. So divide natin sila. 3 over 9 divided by 3 over 3. So we have 1 over 3. Therefore, the fraction form of 0 0.3 vinculum is 1 over 3. Next, 4. We have 5.125 vinculum. So, we have 5 over 125 over 1000 minus 1. That is 5 and 125 over 999. 